Are bell peppers good or are they bad? In this video, we'll compare the pros and cons of bell peppers to help you decide whether you should or should not eat them. We'll also talk about the healthiest type of bell peppers, so stick around. By the way, my name is Albert. If you're new here and you want to optimize your diet to burn fat, live long and feel awesome, Start now by subscribing. Let's start with the benefits of bell peppers. They are extremely low carb. They are a vegetable very low in carbohydrates. This means that they fit the keto diet very well. And it also means that if you're not on keto and you decide that bell peppers are good for your health, you can eat as many of them as you want to. Another benefit is that they are super rich in vitamin C. They are actually the number one source of vitamin C in the world. And on those days you eat bell peppers, I would say you don't have to worry about vitamin C at all. They contain this compound called capsaicin as well, which is a phytonutrient that acts as an antioxidant and does many other good positive functions in our bodies but this guy is found more in chili peppers and in those spicy ones but then there's also capsantin and violaxantin beta carotene is another big plus for 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 bell peppers but the type of bell pepper whether it's red yellow or green depends a ton here. They also contain a ton of lycopene, which again is a carotenoid and it's very beneficial for our health. But again, it heavily depends on the type of the bell pepper that you eat. And bell peppers taste awesome, but there are some negatives to them. Compared to many other types of vegetables, bell peppers lack other nutrients. They are lower in potassium, in magnesium, calcium and other of those nutrients. They also contain lectins which might not be that good for your health and especially if you are intolerant to lectins. They are like the fourth place on the dirty dozen checklist which is a checklist of the most polluted of fruits and vegetables in the world. So whenever you can, you want to go for organic bell peppers. And on the days you just bump into unorganic bell peppers, you should definitely at least wash them in white vinegar or consume activated charcoal along with them because that will help the the pesticides get flushed out of your body. And another negative of bell peppers is that they come from a nightshade family, which is not a negative on itself. It would matter nothing on itself, but many people are intolerant to nightshades. So all of these considered, bell peppers are in my opinion pretty good if you tolerate them well. But the type also matters a ton here. So which type is the best? Is it green? red, yellow or chili pepper. The red one is 10 times higher in beta carotene than the green one and the orange one slash yellow one is somewhere in between. Red one has way more lycopene that's why it's red and yellow and orange ones have none. Red pepper has more capsantin and green pepper is also harder to digest for most people. Yellow one has the most violaxanthin and chili pepper has the most capsaicin. Okay, sure, but what does this all mean to you? That you should use red bell pepper. And it's also a good idea to put chili pepper on your food if you tolerate it well because of the capsaicin. If you feel better after eating the green bell pepper than you would if you were to eat the red bell pepper, I would consider avoiding them at in general because you are probably intolerant to nightshades. What is your opinion on bell peppers? Let me know down in the comments. If you like this type of videos, check out this good or bad series right here on the screen. It's free. If you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe and I will see you next time.